Now, as we've been hearing, a growing number of young people are finding themselves without a safe place to sleep, according to a leading homeless charity. Here in London, Centrepoint says more than three and a half thousand will be homeless or at risk of being without a home this Christmas. And Caroline Davis has been speaking to one young woman about what happened to her. My name's Alicia, I'm 23, I'm a young female from London. For the past six months I've been living in hostel accommodations to different other accommodations and still I don't feel secure or have a secure, safe place to live. After years of a difficult relationship with her family, which affected her studies too, Alicia says she couldn't live at home anymore. In the last six months I've lived in a YMCA hostel. I've lived in a halfway house in South Croydon provided by a victim support worker. I've lived in a hotel provided by the Kingston Council and I've also lived in a women's refuge for 24 hours. Very difficult to live in, especially if you're trying to better yourself. There's a lot of people taking drugs, a lot of people with mental health issues and a lot of people that are just there to benefit themselves, if that makes sense, um, use you or try and get you involved in certain activities you don't want to get involved in. It definitely made me grow up, made me realise that not everyone is kind to you and people will use you. I felt like a, you know, a stray dog being taken to different places. Oh, you don't fit in here, so we'll move you somewhere else. Alicia is currently staying with her sister in Ipswich, but says it's not a long-term solution. Rent in London is ex so expensive and landlords need references, guarantors. If you haven't got enough money or enough money in the bank, they won't even look at your application. But I would just appreciate just my own little room, somewhere to call home, somewhere safe, secure. I'm not like begging the council or the government to fund me for it because I'm willing to work. And I feel like a lot of young homeless people, they want to work, they just haven't got the qualification. I am Alicia and are you ready for my show? She's trying to break the cycle. Alicia's enrolled in a course learning about how to produce radio and podcasts, learning with others who've also experienced homelessness. The radio station for the homeless coming to you in January 2020. People should know that at the end of the day, we're still human beings. Yeah, they just see someone on the street begging for money. They don't see the potential that this person actually has talents, ambitions, a family, life, a heart, they're a human being. I just feel like they should give young people a second chance because young people are the future generation and if we're not allowing young people to be housed and to feel safe then as a society what are we doing? Well Caroline is here now and you've also been speaking to charities about the scale of this problem. Well, the charity Centrepoint, of course, gathered this information together in the first place. They said they did that by speaking to local authorities and finding out how many 16 to 25 year olds had come to them asking for help with housing in the run up to the Christmas period. Now, it's not possible to directly compare this to previous years, but Centrepoint say that they've seen more people coming to their hostels and in need. And one of the issues they've had with young people is moving them on to more permanent accommodation because they say they can't find an affordable alternative to the hostel for them. That's also so the message that's been um, repeated to me uh, from the charity that was helping Alicia, the, uh, it's a charity called Accumulate uh, and they help young people to get qualifications. Um, now they say that in London the cost of living can mean that it is much more of a mountain to climb to try to get out of homelessness. Deposit to go and actually take on a rented accommodation or is, is in the high hundreds. When you're on income support or low income the possibility of achieving that is reduced and therefore it's almost in a negative cycle, there is an advantage in being in a hostel because you can actually keep on to that low income than if you were to move out of that and into private accommodation. And therefore, your, things like your independent living skills go and therefore you become more dependent and you lose your confidence. Well, we did also speak to the government about it. They pointed out that they introduced the Homel Homelessness Reduction Act last year. That was in April. Uh, and that means that public authorities have to refer people that are suspected to be at risk of homelessness to a housing authority. Um, that, they hope that means that more people will be identified and helped out of homelessness before it really starts. The charities that I spoke to today will say we'll see how effective that is by seeing how many people are homeless this Christmas. OK, Caroline, thank you.